Hey everyone, it's Tony George. It's Friday. It's March Madness. We're gonna go with the late game tonight for your free play. We need to win a free play. We've dumped our last couple, two or three here. So let's get you a good free play winner and a uh, a little bit surprising uh, day one. Uh, obviously, I told you there was gonna be upsets and insane results, and uh, we suffered one of those insane results with the Nevada money line play as, as our top play of the day. They had a 17 point lead with seven minutes and 40 seconds left. And I forgot how big of a bonehead Steve Alford was as a head coach in college basketball. I was reminded of that last night when he went into lead protection mode, took away all his momentum that his team had, who dominated that game. Uh, they struggled a little bit out of the gate uh, the last five minutes of the first half, they put the screws to them, came out in the second half and lit them up like crazy, and then just went into stall mode. Cost them the game. Just got their butt stuffed. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Lost with 11 seconds left and couldn't get a shot off to save their life at the end of the game when they absolutely had to. You know, it's a bad beat. If they happen in this tournament, um, wasn't happy about it at all. And my Colorado State uh, free play sucked. They only managed 44 points. Mountain West, uh, interesting statistic about the Mountain West. Mountain West teams in this tournament, the last 39 games, they were eight seeds or higher, are now 4-35 and 35 straight up. Wow. That's dating back a while. Nonetheless, um, Kentucky goes down to Oakland. Frankly, Oakland was a better team. Unbelievable. John Calipari hadn't done so. Fairly Dickinson has got more wins in the NCAA tournament than Kentucky does combined in the last five years. I mean, that's unbelievable. And, by the way, I had no skin in it, but Kansas got gifted a game by the refs last night. Gifted a game. Obviously did not want Sanford to win that game for whatever reason. I have no idea. But, man, they gave him that game. Unbelievable. So, nonetheless, you saw a lot of uh, big favorites cover. We had Illinois covering. Um, I told you I was going to be giving you. I had one halftime bet. Yes, well, I had two bets yesterday um, on the halftime lines or in-game wagering only. And one of them was Creighton, which I gave you on Twitter at T. George Sports, and during the Nevada and uh, Dayton game, with about five minutes left, I could see what was happening, and since I had $2,200 personally on that game, I bet $250 on Dayton, um, just hedged back a little bit at plus 325 to win outright, and by God, they did. So... Didn't get my money all back, but I got a little bit of it back, which didn't ease the pain any. Uh, welcome to March Madness Wagering. We got some games for you today. Um, a game for you today. The lines are moving like crazy. They're shooting up through the roof. Uh, Wisconsin being one of them. I was going to give out a free lean on Wisconsin. They're up to five and a half, six in some places now. Um so I'm going to stay away from that. But I will talk about St. Mary's and Grand Canyon. Now, Grand Canyon's a good story. Uh, much like James Madison's a good story. Won a lot of games. Haven't lost very many. But you're just stepping up so, so far in uh, competition. Um, I saw St. Mary's play Gonzaga out here and just absolutely dominate them and put them over their knee. Uh, they've got a shutdown defense. They've got guards that can pop shots. Uh, they've got a big guy that's dominant. I mean, he took Gonzaga's big guy and just spanked him. Um, very well coached, very well disciplined team. And when you have the smaller conference schools come into this tournament, this line's five and a half. The one thing that they'll struggle with a lot of the time is really good Division I defenses. Um, that's when they struggle. That's when you don't really need to worry about the upset alert, you know, uh, in my opinion. Just from what I've seen, I've only been doing this 32 years. Uh, but St. Mary's is number two in the country in defense, only behind Houston. And Grand Canyon is going to struggle with that. They get in your face. 
they're very pesky. Uh, they're very quick. They force turnovers. They get a lot of boards, which I think is going to be a big thing in this game too. The line's five and a half. And the one thing about it, too, St. Mary's is consistent with their defense. It's one thing I look at. Um, they're giving up 58 points a game, and they're second in the country as well in second half scoring allowed at only 32 points. And that's what cover spreads for you. When your second half defense is as good as your overall defense, and they match number two in the country in both of those categories. Um, and if you take a look at Grand, you know, um, Grand Canyon, they're eight and two their last 10 games. Uh, they lost by three in two road games. And those road games away from home that they lost were against Albaline Christian and Tarleton State. This is a huge step up in class. This is the number 18th power ranked team by Ken Palm in the country and a team that can make a deep run in this tournament. And I'll lay the five and a half. I think they get by Grand Canyon tonight in the late game. Over at the website today, we're lowering the units and spreading it around. We've got a couple of two-unit plays, a four and a three today. Three sides in a total. Uh, it should be noted that in the NHL, we have a six-unit top play. Don't like hockey? Who cares? You like making money? We've got a... Six unit side pick in the Seattle Arizona game tonight. We're five and zero oh our last five, and eleven and four our last fifteen in the NHL. We also have a four unit best bet in the NBA tonight. Back to back wins had the Suns last night against an injury riddled Atlanta team. They were able to get put them away, although it's very difficult to swallow laying big points with Phoenix because they're hit and miss, but. You know, nonetheless, Atlanta was so depleted with injuries, there was just no way they were going to compete, especially coming off a 31-point loss to the Lakers, who aren't all that either. So we got a four-unit play for you there. We'll be back at you on Saturday with some more free picks. We're studying those lines right now. Follow me on Twitter, at TGeorgeSports. If I do any in-game wagering uh, with – and in-game wagering, I can't post, like hedging back against Nevada when I saw Steve Alford just completely melting down as a head coach. And just to hedge back, if I was going to win the 2200 it hit my bet in the 250 uh, But uh, those things are instantaneous. You can't put those out. But the halftime, second half lines, if I see something cider total I like today, watching these games, and I bet it, I'll tweet it out. Get over to Docs. We got a free 60 bucks link in the description below or on the upper left hand tab in the on the website. There it says free 60. We'll park 60 bucks in your new account. Go get yourself some big winners today. And let's have a better than one and two day. And let's not suffer another bad beat. My goodness.